In this video, I want to discuss the different types of roots of a quadratic equation. So, the question is find the value or values of k for which the roots of the equation, this is the equation, equal to 0, k is a real number, will have three situations when k is where the roots are equal, the roots are real and distinct, and the roots are non real and complex. Okay, so let's write the equation. The equation is 4x squared minus k minus 2x plus 9 equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation. So let's identify the a, b, and c. Your a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 4. Your b is negative k minus 2. The coefficient of x is b, and c is equal to 9. So, to decide the nature of roots, we have to find the determinant, which is delta, which is b squared minus 4ac. b squared minus 4ac is the determinant, or uh, discriminant, not determinant, discriminant. So, which is negative k minus 2, the whole squared, minus 4 times a, which is 4 times 9 is equal to, okay, so it's not equal to anything here. So expanding this further, so this is equal to negative squared will become k minus 2, the whole squared, minus 16, uh, this is 16 times 9, which is 16 times 9, so let me use a calculator. My brain is not working. 16 times 9 is 144. Am I right? Yeah, 144. So negative 144. So your delta, <coughs> so you can say your delta, <coughs> excuse me, is equal to, expanding this, so this is k squared minus, this is 4k plus 4 minus 144. So your delta, your discriminant is k squared minus 4k minus 140. Okay, so we want we have got three situations. So let's take the first situation. Your first situation is equal roots. The equal roots implies equal roots imply your delta has to be equal to zero. Okay, so this implies your b squared minus 4k minus 140 is equal to 0, which implies the two factors of minus 140, which gives you negative 4 is, uh, this is not b, this should be k. This is k squared. So the two factors of negative 140, which gives you 4, negative 4, are what? Which are the two factors? Uh, well, 14 and 4, 14 and 10, sorry, negative 14 and plus 10. Okay, so this implies your k is negative 14, or k is equal to, k is equal to plus 14, sorry, or k is equal to negative 10. So let me explain this graphically. Now, if you graph this, so let me use the space to draw the graph. So graphically, what does this mean? This means your, this is not drawn to scale. So yeah, this is minus 140. This is minus 140. How do I know that? The y-intercept is going to be minus 140 because if you set k equal to 0, this is going to be 0, this is going to be 0. So your y-intercept is going to be negative 140. When k is negative 10 and when k is 14, you're going to get, yeah, this is going to be equal to 0. Okay, so when k is equal to 14, or k is equal to 10, negative 10, this is going to be a perfect square, okay, or you will have only one root. So let me first show this, and then I'll put this back in this equation. So let me drag this and show you the equation. So we go to graph. Let me type in this equation instead of, so you can type in x squared minus 4x 
minus 140 and then draw it. I need to change the scale. I will go from say minus 20 to plus 20. And on y axis I, I will go from say minus 10 to no, from I need to go from minus 150 because I know the y-intercept is going to be minus 140 to maximum 10, scale of 10. And the graph, this is your graph. So let's, let's confirm these three points. So if you go J solve, the roots are negative 10 and positive 14. <clears throat> and if you go to y-intercept, it's minus 140. So when k is <clears throat> minus 10 or k is 14, you are going to get only one root. Okay, so what does that mean? That means, <coughs> excuse me, so let me rub this off. Okay, so let me use this space. Okay, let me rub this off. Okay, so what I'm saying is, if k is 10, or k is, oh, so k is negative 10, or k is 14, it's going to be, you're going to get only one root. So let us take an example. So let's, take k is equal to 14. If you put k is equal to 14, this implies this equation will become 4x squared. 14 take away 2 is 12, so it's minus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0. If you know how to factorize this, this is 2x minus 3 the whole squared. 2x minus 3 the whole squared is equal to 0. So there's only one value of x, which is 3 over 2. Okay, so if you graph this, this will look like this. This is only a sketch. This, the parabola would go like this. Okay, so this point is 1 and a half, so 1.5. So this equation graphs to this. So let me show you that. So I'll delete this, and let us type in 4x squared minus 12x minus 12x, oops, 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Uh, I will delete this, plus 9. Okay, let me drag this out. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, and if you go to g sol and root, that's 1.5. There's only one root. Okay, and what happens if k is equal to if k is equal to uh, 14, k is equal to 14, you will have, this implies your equation will become 4x squared minus, uh, 14 minus 2 is mine, that's also minus 12x, isn't it? Uh, oh, no, we have done 14, we have to do negative 10 now, sorry. If you do negative 10, this will become <coughs> plus 12x plus 9 equal to 0. What does this mean? How did it get plus 12x? If you put negative 10, this is going to be negative 12 and you got a minus sitting out. So this will become 4x squared plus 12x. And for that, your graph would look somewhat like this. And yeah, this point would be minus 1.5. Okay, so let me show you that. So delete, oops, type in something here, delete this, and also delete this. So type in 4x squared plus 12x plus 9, and see how the graph looks like. Here we go, and if you go g solve and root, minus 1.5. Okay, so uh, uh, I'll stop here. I would like you to do this and this yourself. I'll come back in the next video.